Here I come. Learn not those ways, for they are evil ways. They are wicked ways. You was not supposed to learn about somebody else in that manner. You are supposed to talk to them. Data sister, not to go on horoscope. That wasn't made for the children of Israel. For the customs of the people are vain. For the customs are vain. It makes no sense. There is no value in it. There is no worth in it. That's why we are in so much debt and so much judgment because we borrow to pay a debt that we gamble. These were heed and practice. These, these things were unto devils. And the Mosai is angry with us because we are the people that put all our resources into these things. This word is not for everyone. This is for who will hear and repent or change and follow the truth that was given to our forefathers at Mount Sinai. This was our laws. We were royal people and they used to look at Israel and wonder what can we do to be like them or how can we destroy them. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 1 And the most I spake unto Moses, speak unto the congregation of the children of Israel and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, for I am the most high thy power and holy. So we will call our holy people not by Moses, but by the most high. The creator of heaven and earth. He chose one people, the Hebrew Israelites. And he called us holy. He called us separate. He called us sanctified. This is where we are fell to as a people. And because of it, we are going to curses. Curses that run us down. Curses that overtakes us. Curses that breaks us in two. Curses that destroy our families. Not all of Israel will keep the commandments. Not all of Israel will do what Ahiah has said. The name of the Creator is Ahiah. The I Am. We were given everything. We were given His name in his book, in our records. We were given his promises. We were given a guideline to follow his commandments. The book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. Enter ye in the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and may there be that go in the heart, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So broad is the gate. One of the biggest broad gate that came to our people was Christianity. Many people went into that gate. They flocked that gate because it is nice to hear God loves you. No matter what sin you do, He sent His Son to die for all your sin. You could sin because He died. That is a lie. The Messiah has never given license to sin. But presumptuously, we sin because we want to use Christ as a scapegoat. And that's not the purpose he came for, for we to sin. He came that we would have everlasting life, not that we should sin and walk in disorder. He did not come for us to walk in flesh. He did not come for us to do anything that we want. This word is not for everybody, but everybody will hear, because everyone will be judged. The most is a respect of no person. He will not destroy us without a warning. This is our warning. This will be our last warning for some, but the word is for you. We are Hebrew Israelites. We are the people of the book. We are the people that went into cargo slavery by ships. We are the people that fell from the grace of the Mosai. We are the people that the Bible talked about in Deuteronomy 28 will be scattered to the four corners of the earth. This was part of history, people. So one would tell you, is a Pentecostal. The next one would tell you, is a Muslim. The next one would tell you, is a Baha'i. They will be tossed all over the place. We are one people. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of that will go into these ships and be scattered to the four corners of the earth. We are the only people to fulfill that scripture, that promise of rebelliousness would happen to us. That judgment has taken place. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. 
but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If they don't keep the command, curses will follow them. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So the strangers in our nation will get above us very high. This was one of the things that would happen to Israel when they disobey. So another nation will come into our nation and prosper in front of us while we are in a nation. So let me make it simple. Brother, you have your little nut shack. You're selling your little nuts, your little sea drink. And the Chinese pull up next door and he open up parlor and all the customers is there and you have nothing. You don't find that strange? It happens to us time and time and time again throughout this land. It happens to us with all the races throughout this land. We are under that curse. That is the mark. That is the mark of Israel in the curse. The other nations will come up high over you and you shall go low. That's why we owe nothing in this land. We owe nothing in the earth. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt become very low. And he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. So we're going back to the stranger now. He will lend to you, you will not lend to him. When was the last time you lent money to a Chinese? We have to go by them. We have to go from Sing Chong and Lung Chong and Lung Chong. That's what's going on. That's how real it is, people. These are the curses that this Bible talks about that we call a religious book in Christianity. Look at happening. It was a promise given to the children of Israel, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If we sin against that book and do not keep those promises that were declared at Mount Sinai, this is going to happen to our nation. Can't you see it? Continue verse 44. And he shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Verse 45. Moreover, all his curses shall come upon thee, and pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. So all his curses will come upon me, overtake me, run me down, till we dead. It's not going to stop. It's not going to get better. These are the promises that the Moses said would happen to our people. Your politicians cannot change these curses. Your government cannot change these curses. Your prime ministers cannot change these curses. This is because Israel has not kept the commandments. The people will forget who they are and will become discontinued. Forget about their heritage. Forget about their laws. They don't keep the Sabbath. They will eat pork. They will eat crabs, they will eat everything unclean. These are the people, we are the people. Solomon was part of us. Abraham is part of us. David is part of us. We are the people that Christ came to die for. We are the only people scattered by slavery all over the world. That's who the Mosai love, his people. For God so loved the world with his people, not everyone. He does not love everyone. He loved those that love him. The book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 5. And these twelve the shire sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into the way of the Samaritans enter ye not, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You hear? That's Christ's words. Go to Israel. It's Israel who lost. Israel who don't know who it is. The Chinese could go way back in his generation by name. How far could you go back? Your grandmother, your grandfather, that's it. And if you're lucky, your great grandfather. We were cut off. Our heritage were cut off. Slavery cut off us as a people. We came from Israel. And other people is in our land. We don't consider that we are the people that the Shia, which you would ignorantly, ignorantly call Jesus, died for. 
and we are the people he's coming back for. So I have good news. We are the people he is coming back for. But we got to straighten up. We got to do it right. We got to do it according to the laws he gave Moses. The Mosai loved us so much, he sent his son to pay a price. A dear price. How much of you will kill your son? How much of you will let your son be sacrificed? For no wrong at all. But think about someone they murdered for no reason. No sin. No wrongdoing. Think about that. March for that. Understand that. Burn some tires for Christ. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear them from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. That is what he's pleading with his people. Call by his name. Return from their wicked ways. Repent. Change. That's what repent means to change. Change from your thinking, of your evil ways. I want this woman, I want this man. I want this house, I want this car. Change from your evil ways. Me and me alone. Change from your evil ways. Then will he hear from heaven. Then will he forgive our sins. Then will he restore us to the glory that we had. We are just going in circles with the ways of the heathen. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you to philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Philosophies, tricks, schemes of men have taken us away from our heritage. But we still have this promise. We still have a promise. We are the promised people. We are people that have come to this truth. We are the children of Israel. We belong to the gathering of Christ's church. And today we declare, we're declaring it to you. Come in. Come in before the gate, the gate is closed. Come in before the door is closed. Come in before it is too late.